Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where we explore different mini projects. In case you missed my previous videos, we have discussed three mini projects that you can check out after this one. And if you find them helpful, please like and share the video so that we can bring more content like this to you. I'll post the code for the previous mini projects once the video reaches at least 1k views and likes. So today we are going to discuss another interesting mini project, the employee management system. I'll be discussing about the objects that we should create, the fields that we should use, the validations which can be created, the diagrams that we can create, the enhancements that can be made, skills you will acquire and the competencies you will build. In any organization, managing employee information is a crucial task. With this system, we can efficiently manage employee information, track their job details, and record their performance evaluation. <coughs> so we'll be, as I told, we will see what are all the tables which we are going to create, pages, queries, and reports. Apart from this, if you wanted to build some more, add some more objects to that, please do it. The employee management system consists of two tables. One table is employee table and the second table is performance evaluation table. So the employee table, what are the fields I have used? Employee ID, first name, last name, address, phone, email, start date, end date, job title and the department. The employee table stores employee details such as their name, all these details okay so the performance evaluation table stores employee evaluation details such as their rating comments and evaluation date so here i have used employee id as a common field okay where this employee id will be the primary key for this employee table and employee id will be the secondary key for this performance evaluation table and evaluation id will be the primary key for this performance table we have also created four pages I have also created four pages for these tables, employee list, employee card, performance evaluation list and performance evaluation card. So here you can see all these pages. Okay. So employee list displays a list of all employees with basic information, while employee card displays the detailed information about a specific employee. Similarly, performance evaluation list displays a list of all evaluations with basic information and performance evaluation card displays detailed information about a specific evaluation. So I have created two queries here. So one is an employee search and performance evaluation search, which allows you to search for employees or evaluations based on different criteria. And I have created the report, two reports. If you want, you can enhance for more reports. So here it is employee directory and the performance evaluation. So the employee directory displays a directory of all employees with their contact information while performance evaluation summaries, uh, that is a performance evaluation summary displays a summary of all evaluations, including average ratings by department. So these are all the objects include. Other than that, we can add some more validations to the table level or the page level objects. So what are the possible validations which you can add? The first one is validating the start and end date of an employee. When creating or updating an employee record, we can add validation rule to ensure that the start date is before the end date so that we can prevent the data entry errors and ensure accurate reporting. Next one is enforcing mandatory fields. So we can make a certain fields such as employee name, job title or department mandatory at the page level or a table level. So this can prevent incomplete data entry and improve the data quality. Next one is the checking for duplicate records. We can add a validation rule to check for duplicate employee records based on unique identifiers such as employee ID or email address. So this can help us to avoid data duplication and ensure data accuracy. Calculating fields automatically. So we can uh, use a table level calculations to automatically calculate fields such as the total number of evaluations on employee has received or the average rating they have received. This can save the time to and improve the accuracy. So finally, I have added one more validation that is displaying warning messages. We can add warning messages to page or table level to alert users to potential issues such as missing or incomplete data. This can help users to identify and correct errors before submitting the record. So these are the sample validations which, which I thought. Okay, so even if you wanted to add more validations, you can add it. 
so though there are various diagrams so i will discuss about other types of diagrams in a different video there are various diagrams okay other than this uh, er and flow chart we have dfd diagram okay so we have few more diagram that is nearly 9 to uh, 12 diagrams are there we can use that but why we have to choose a specific set of diagram that we will discuss in a separate video so i have ch uh, i chose a er diagram and flow chart which are important visual aids used to understand the structure and flow of a system so these two diagrams helps to identify potential areas for improvement and optimize the system for a better performance by using these diagrams stakeholders can easily understand the system's process and make informed decisions for their organization so i have used two diagram that is er and flow chart i'll just give you a overview of what is er and what is flow chart so er diagram that illustrates the relationship between the employee table and the performance evaluation table so er means entity relationship diagram what is entity entity is a table okay like the another name of table is entity so how two tables are related to each other so if you want to add more tables then you have to relate it so in not by showing this relationship that is what the er diagram so er diagram dis displays a one to many relationship between the employee id field in the tab employee table and employee id field in the performance evaluation table so one employee can have multiple performance evaluation so this means that each employee can have multiple performance evaluation record in the system so moving on to the flow chart for the employee management system um So we will see how the system operates in detail. Okay, that is flow. How these operations are processing. This flow chart illustrates how new employee records are created, or how employee information is updated, and how performance evaluations are recorded and tracked. The flow chart begins with the creation of a new employee record, including fields such as name. The flow chart then demonstrates how employee information can be updated and maintained over time. So I haven't drawn any uh, of these two diagram. I just uh, uh, I am giving you the idea. So if you want me to show the diagram, I can show you. No issues. Okay. So first, and um, if you want me to show the diagram, please comment it so that in the next project I can try to add the diagrams for the projects that is add the diagram for that particular project. To make this project more interesting, we can add additional functionality such as tracking, employee training, and certification. so these are all the enhancements okay so we can track the employee training and certification creating job posting we can create the job posting over there and managing the hiring process so what happens by doing this employee management system what what exact um, skills you are gaining okay what is the skill you are gaining by doing this project and what uh, what other competencies you are learning you are getting by doing this employee management system project you will gain hands on experience in creating tables pages queries and reports in business center you will also learn how to manage employee information track job details record performance evaluations and everything additionally you will gain knowledge in using er and flow chart diagrams to plan and visualize the system as well as identify potential areas of our enhancement This project will also help you to understand the importance of data management in organization, and how efficient management of employees' information can lead to improved decision making, better communication, and increased productivity. In conclusion, the employee management system is a useful project for an organization as it helps in managing employee information and tracking performance evaluation. I hope that you find this video helpful and informative. Please like and share this video with others so that they can also benefit from this project. Thank you for watching this and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.